Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly angel card reading here at Beacons of Angel Light with me, Trudy Healy. This is for your week beginning October 2nd, Monday, October 2nd, 2017. Today I'm recording and it's Sunday, October 1st, so I don't know, my birthday was just last week, but I feel like my birthday is going to be this whole month because it's such a magical month um, and we close it out with uh, Halloween and then there's Dia de Muerto and All Saints Day. It bleeds into November and then it turns into Christmas in a whole brand new year. Um, also this week we have a beautiful full moon in Aries which is a fire sign. They're very motivated. They're also light years ahead of everyone and um, they're very passionate, very driven uh, individuals, and so that's going to be personified. A lot of self-confidence, a lot of um, you know motivation. The shadow side would be motivation for the wrong things or the wrong people, things that are not really resonating with you perhaps because of external influence or you're allowing someone to influence your thinking patterns or um, some type of education that you've been exposed to. Um, so it's the second full moon since the solar eclipse that we had in August and these are going to be a series of full moons that are going to um, fulfill whatever it was that we were manifesting in that solar eclipse so it's going to be a series of steps now in this full moon I encourage you guys to visualize it even if you watched the video today and you start visualizing maybe Monday before the full moon like start visualizing be deliberate be intended and dedicate thought and time to the things that you wish to manifest in your three-dimensional existence the eye of your mind um, you can use crystals to help like I've been hanging out an awful lot with my citrine um, since last week but another great one to use that I frequently go to is lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli in Spanish anyway so I never bring out this deck of cards because it's ancient it's nearly 20 years old and they're not angel cards they're regular tarot cards this is by Jonathan D. I actually think it's out of print um, look, and synchronicities, I found one of these uh, rocks here and it says pray. So, I don't know, I'm going to leave it here for somebody else, but I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go with my tarot cards, my original, my true blue, as my, one of my soul sisters calls it. Um, it's the first deck that I ever got, and I got it when I was like... 15 years old at a Barnes and Nobles um, and for a long time I had felt somewhat in disharmony with the deck because it's kind of mean and really cuts through the fat and tells you exactly what's going on however the angels told me that they are my guides and this is not coming from a lower realm, it's, it's always coming from the higher realms because I've willed it so. I've willed that I am only guided by the guides that I have on the higher dimensions and not the ones on the lower dimensions. So this one I do a little bit different. <laughs> you guys have seen me do the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. But with this deck it's a little different. Oh, these ducks came to hang out with me. I was feeding them beforehand. Awesome. Anyway, gotta hang out in nature. Nature's a giver. So I like to shuffle three times. I don't know, it's symbolic for me of like past, present, future, but I won't be telling the future. I'm just talking about the energies um, that we'll be faced with this week. Oh, look, it's two of them now. <laughs> One more. They probably think I have food.
Okay. So here we're talking about a wish having recently built, been fulfilled. Um, she's pouring water into water. It's talking about abundance. Okay. And it's also, it's, oh, hi. <laughs> Wants to share the bench with me. Um, yeah, so it's abundance and it's like that whole air of like starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. And wish I may, I wish I might make the wish. So visualize, continue visualizing. It's talking about what I was talking about, that solar eclipse that we had back in August. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I think he wants me to pet him. It's weird. Or I guess not. <laughs> um, then we have working in our favor is the two of cups. This is a lover's card. Um, harmonious relationships, harmony restored after a troubled time, cooperation, good communication, um, lots of good things in terms of the relationship there. Um, then we also have the Emperor card. So this is like, um, it's the card of bosses. You're in a position of authority, you're in a position of, you know, you're the one who makes the decisions. You're the one that has the responsibility and the ability to de delegate tasks, also to receive um, the reap the benefits, so to speak. Um, so use it wisely. It's it's a time to remember. I was saying we have this full moon in a, in Aries. So it's a time to really execute, thrive, be motivated, be determined, be deliberate, intended, all of that. Um, then, more towards the middle of the week, we have the Three of Pentacles. I get confused with, okay, this one is, right, so this is, Oh no, it's not the Three of Pentacles, it's the Four of Pentacles. Gosh, dyslexia here. I get them confused, um, the numbers of which suit is what. <laughs> Someone was trying to go through the number sequences um, to give me a trick on how to remember better. I have Swiss cheese memory. So as ancient and as many times have I, as I've used this deck, I still don't remember a lot of the... Ah, okay. So, this card is referring to material stability, um, financial shrewdness, money in the bank, um, holding on to the possessions that you've gained throughout the years, and finding yourself in a comfortable situation, perhaps not luxurious, but definitely comfortable with money in the bank, and all of your bills are paid off. So, things are looking up financially. Um, and then this is towards the end of the week, like Thursday, Friday type of situation. It's a meeting of the minds. This is a, um, a harmonious partnership between two people where there is a lot of really good communication, the creative aspect where one of them maybe has, you know, the mathematics down, the other one has like the way to execute it or whatever. I don't know, like they're, they're different facets and they complement one another. So this is a, a harmonious divine union in terms of business. This is a very business oriented reading and week. Um, so at the end of it all, this is like a weekend card, Friday, Saturday, Sunday type of deal. We have the Seven of Wands, and it's a time of adversity. It's a time to be stubborn and not give an inch. It's a time to stick to your guns and stick to your grounds and don't, don't allow anyone to influence you or sway your decision-making capabilities because you know what's best and you are the one who is going to reap the benefits or suffer the consequences. So um, we're done with the tarot cards. I do want to, however, everybody really loved that last week I pulled a chakra card. Or no, perhaps not everybody, but a lot of people got back to me and told me that they really liked um, the chakra card that I pulled out last week. So we'll do it again this week. Oh, and by the way, I'm open to suggestions. If you guys have a request for a specific deck that you want me to use for next week's reading, 
let me know. I'm definitely open. Um, the angels actually asked me to ask. So, there's a bunch of them. You guys have seen a few. Or you've probably seen a lot of them if you've been tuned in long enough. So these are Shaka cards by Rachel Sharman. It stuck right out. Um, it's a root chakra card. The number is 12, or it could be a sacral chakra, actually. Um, actually, I do think it is a sacral. The number is 12, and the keyword is relationships. Isn't that a pretty card? Um, so I'm going to look for the meaning here real quick. That way I can read it to you guys directly from the book. Yeah, it's a sacral chakra card. You have attracted this card into your awareness today as it is a powerful time and an opportunity to deepen relationships. Relationships are the way that we, that we connect to all things in our world, not just people. This could be a relationship with yourself, your partner, your family, your friends, your pets creative projects, your home, and your community. For things to grow, expand, and to be healthy, your relationships need to be fed and nurtured. Now is a good time to see which bonds require some more love and attention and assess these, the ones that are not so healthy for you at this time. What awareness is required to shift the energy around any challenging relationships? What do you need to heal? Whether this card relates to your intimate relationships or relationships in general, know that there is a great opportunity for growth and connection. Through relationships, you learn about yourself and others. They are an integral part and important part of your life's journey. Our relationships teach us and mirror many traits back to us. Sometimes this reflection is hard to accept However, when you are willing to see yourself honestly and work positively with your behavior, then there's a huge opportunity for growth. The key is to accept and love every aspect of yourself and set yourself free from judgment and limitation. There is an abundance of love and healing that comes with a solid, fulfilling relationship. Take time to nurture your relationships. Put in the energy to allow them to grow and expand into beautiful friendships or deeper connections. It is also a powerful time to create a long-lasting, healthy relationship with yourself. So be your new best friend. And with that, guys, I love you. Definitely love yourselves. That's what the card is saying. Love yourself and love everyone around you. Mwah. So have a great week. If you haven't already, definitely make sure you click subscribe, share, comment, and let me know if you have any ideas on which uh, deck of cards you'd like me to use for next week. Mwah. I love you. Have a great week.